Welcome back to the GG Gamer channel. Four as Dust Falls Part 3. I'm your commentator, Chubby Cherub. Let's get going. Kablamo! You are gonna shoot me point blank with a shotgun in front of your whole family? I. It, it was loaded. loaded. You got one off. I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you were just ready to do it, huh? You're trying to kidnap my wife, man. You think I'm just gonna stand here and let that happen? Dale? Get the duffel bag. No, that can't right. be true. Last episode, we sh we fired a shot in the middle of the fight. Guys, we're not going anywhere. Oh, uh, I saw Pokemon symbol in the back. It's Dante. He'll get us ah, out of here. Ah, it's Inferno. You got more faith in him than, than I do. Ah, oh, there he is. The guy they stole from. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off really? the morning. The bad news is, you dipshits broke into my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time. But he gets things done. Um. So will they even negotiate with him? I mean, if they rob their own sheriff, that can't be a good omen. Not sure Dante even knows it's them. Once he finds out, he might not want to negotiate either. Oops. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small-town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> is someone gonna get there? <sighs> Here we go. The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter. Talk like to that. me like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Why didn't she do it? Crack a joke. <laughs> Boom ching. Hey guys, what do bank robbers eat for dessert? Uh, heist. Wow. Cream. You get it? <laughs> You're an idiot. You know that? I mean, it was kind of funny. You see? He gets it. You just don't have a sense of humor. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this. It's fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again, 
Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Uh, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? I mean, it look like good tape. Maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That short, stubby legs. That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cut the noise. How? I'll cough. On three. One. Two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? Eventually. Quick, I'll block the door. Oh. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? Uh... Ooh, wait, no. Don't do that. The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um... The Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? You're good. Keep going. Uh, they got two guns. The one calling the shots. I think his name's, um... Tyler? Tyler. That's right. He's coiled up pretty tight. I worry what's gonna happen if something sets him off. Huh. Yeah, I would've called him the one with the cool head. If Tyler's losing it. You need to be careful. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Uh, Dale's a psycho? Motel staff is safe? I don't know. Why don't we tell them about the guns? They have two of them! I have a six-year-old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but... God, the thing she's seen today. Oh, poor thing. We'll get her out of there, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. And sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? Everything! <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like we didn't really tell them much. I told them what's happening here. That the Holtz were behind us. And you're the one in charge. Fuck! These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. I didn't want to. You broke my car down. Oh! They cut the power! Ah! Oh, in case you forgot the name of the game, it says Dust Falls. So. Let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. What? Pretty high up. Then one day, bam. Bits Did of we just go back in time again? Two workers hospitalized and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. 
The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, I keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. Uh, that's a tricky situation. You could stick your gag order Jesus. Your pen right up your ass. Oh, so you do got a little fight left in you. Strong enough to flip a desk, but it took us forever to take a gun away from that scrawny kid? Really? Shit. Hey! <clears throat> Sacramento! Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah. I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just going to pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... Wow, even this guy only lives in an apartment. See, it's expensive to live in Sacramento. I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Dishes! Oh, I gotta do my dishes. Oh, I forgot to do my dishes again. Ah, <sighs> Pack boxes. Ah, yeah, sure. Ah, oh, I hate moving. I guess some dreams never get off the ground. What sucks is I might have to move in the next few months. So I'm really not looking forward to this. Uh... Wait, what are the other options? Oh, oh, come on! Damn it. Boo! Broke a plate. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? What? We didn't even finish dishes. I can still see them. Pack. You can look at the photos when you get to your new place. Oh, look at the baby. Seems like I'm packing my whole world away. Yeah, that's what moving is about. You pack up everything and leave. You don't leave your crap. A bit of a cool start to the day, gradually getting warmer, with a high of around 93 degrees. Mostly dry with a humidity of around 60. That's horrible. Well, the weather's the same as here, at least. Come on, Tony. If Jordan can do it, you what? can do it. Oh, what the hell, ref? My kid can make a better call than that. Get back to packing. Daddy! Hi, pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Really gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll yeah, to Sacramento, as as we get to Missouri. Okay, gotta help mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> PJs on? Looks like it's only four. I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. <gasps> I do love Chinese food. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, oh, shrimp. Not shrimp and Chinese food. By the way, did the moving company call? Um. Hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um... What happened? 
I took a nap. To be honest, I kind of fell asleep on the couch. I know, I know. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. Mm, I'll get her charming. ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? <laughs> What's that all about? Come on. Let's get your jammies on. A jam jams? So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp and I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Me you know neither. What? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? Uh like stay away from clowns when we're scared of something like the dark our imagination can make it seem a lot worse yeah but when the sun comes up you realize there was nothing to be afraid of until it gets dark again try and get some sleep okay Mwah. love you all the way to the moon i want mommy what? What do you need your mom for? You already fell asleep. Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a no. confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. Hey, she opened up some wine. That's a party. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. New message. Oh, no. Who's Bruce? Oh, she's cheating on us. Ah. Uh, well, maybe not. Could be a friend. I need to get the hell out of here. I was gonna say most power outages happen during the day because of the heat. Okay, that's the desk. Hairpin could be useful. Try the window. Why is it barred? Not getting out that way. If you haven't liked and subscribed, you should do it right now. And uh, leave a comment down below. Hey! About um, the last time you met a person called Bruce. And if he cheated on you with uh, your girlfriend. I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. You can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <laughs> so he's up there. I think she's, she's a little preoccupied to be scared of the dark. <laughs> They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Yeah, what's upstairs? Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just 
Keep quiet, let me think. These are some like amazing stealth checks for this heavy set man. Like <laughs> I'm probably in the same weight category as this guy. There's no way I'm going unnoticed when everyone's on high alert. Oh, that's right. They said the owner had a kid. Hey, it's me. It's Vince. Oh, Come nope, in. that's our kid. Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I know you said not to be scared. <laughs> It's okay, am. love bug. Uh, we'll get through this. I am too, pumpkin. It's okay. Let it all out. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? Who? The cops or your brothers? <laughs> they're probably just checking things out. They're not going to try anything. You think? Yeah. You're cool. Listen, I'm going to get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. Well, maybe Grandpa. See you guys in the next video.